Hi guys, this is Alex with my first ever YouTube video on locks. Actually, my first ever YouTube video at all. Uh, today I'm talking about the Yale 5000 series um, high security cylinders. Now, I bought a bunch of these cylinders off of eBay a while back. Um, just thinking they were regular Yale cylinders and they were pretty cheap. Um, and I popped one out and tried to pick it and wasn't having any luck. And then I sort of looked more carefully at it and um, if I can get the light properly on this thing and get this thing to focus for me, um, uh, hopefully you can see at the bottom of the keyway there's some little levers in there. Let's see if we move to more of a macro setting. There we are. There's some little levers down at the bottom of the keyway, and I'll show this. There's one you can see it. Um, I'll show this to you in more detail. Um, in a moment, let's see. Yeah, you can see one sticking out just there. Okay. Now those levers interact with um, the bidding on some side bidding on the key. It's kind of a neat side bidding. So this is a key that I produced by by hand. First by dropping it on the floor and then by filing it. Um, back to macro zoom mode here. Uh, there we are, I think, maybe, okay, fucking hell, manual focus, okay, now this is a quick set KW1 blank, um, lighting really sucks, there we go, you can see it now, um, which happens to fit the keyway, I've been having trouble finding anything that fits this keyway, uh, I've got some keys on order. Um, this is hand cut, so that's why it looks like shit. Um, but the interesting bit is if you look at the bottom of the key, so it's the bottom ward along here, the bottom ward of the key, um, there are some little cutouts. Okay, and this may be clearer if I stick it into a plug from one of these guys. Okay, get it back in frame. You can see that these cuts line up with these little slots that are milled in the side of the plug. Those interact with little levers, which I'll show you in a second, which interact with a sidebar, providing a secondary locking mechanism, which makes this, gives this one of the properties you probably want in a high security lock. And to cut these, I simply scribe lines, the points where these slots are, and then used a, uh, a Swiss file to cut these down. Now, if you're playing along at home, the cuts are a zero is nothing, take nothing away from the ward. A uh, one is um, 20 thousandths of an inch, and a two cut is 40 thousandths of an inch. And those are the three sizes of the little levers. Okay? So what you end up with is a key that has a profile on the side, and that profile is active in that if it, you have the wrong profile, the, the cylinder won't turn. Now, let's see if we can get a shot of the, um, the little levers. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Okay. Um, zoom in a little, oh, move in a little bit more. Okay. So I've got, Jesus, fuck. Okay. Um, I've got one of them staged in the sidebar, which hopefully you can see. And then I've got a couple of the others sitting over here. And what you can see hopefully, is that there are three different depths in this little notch. This little notch is where the sidebar engages, these little bits of the sidebar. There's five of these little guys. Um, so this one wants a zero cut, so it wants to be pushed all the way this way in the keyway, so by the full ward. This one here, uh, which I cleverly don't have. The one that's in here now, the notch is on the other side. Um, and that guy, actually, that might be, well, never mind. Um, notch is on the other side. It doesn't want to be pushed in at all, so it's the 40 cut. And then one like this, I believe, if I can see straight, yeah, that's a number one cut. Um, and so you can see that the little slot is in the middle. Okay, these little guys ride inside the grooves, okay, that are in there. 
they they rotate they kind of rock around in there because obviously they can't pop out as when it's in the in the core and those little slots move back and forth with respect to the sidebar and when they all engage as such there's a little shot of one engaged I would have one of these assembled for you but they have a nasty habit of falling apart um, and I've not gotten one on camera yet that didn't but all those little guys engage the sidebar is able to fall in too let's see if we can get some light on there that little groove inside there okay just like a medico or any other sidebar lock little groove on the side and that lets the plug rotate um, in addition to that um, there's some other security features, so hopefully I can get this in frame. Ooh. Forgive the incredibly ghetto little pin organizer that I made out of a piece of styrofoam. Um, and let's see, let's fine tune the focus there. There we go. Um, you can see there were a few master wafers in there. I don't think I got them back in the right positions. Um, got two standard top pins, um, four spools, and all the bottom key pins are regular. These little springs here, um, which I have actually lost one, I'm trying to get some new a new one. Um, those sit, and I don't know if you can see this, but let's see if we can focus on that. Um, if you look carefully, there are little holes just above where the sidebar goes, and those provide spring bias on the little levers. Um, so that they uh, move around properly. And those, along with the levers, like to fall out continuously. Um, so it's a pretty cool lock. Um, other security features, um, if you've studied high security locks, um, you know, there's usually a few layers of uh, pre or prevention of, or uh, protection against a variety of attacks. Um, in this particular lock, in addition to the sidebar and the security pins, which are going to help against uh, you know key profiles, uh, uh, bumping that sort of thing. We've got a couple of steel pins here protecting the sidebar, and then also three of them along here protecting the shear line. Um, Anti-drill pins. Um, now I don't know if this one has it, but the they make a high security version of this. This is I think just the security version that is, uh, and I know that this is not the high security because it doesn't have the UL um, marker on the plug, but if it did, it would have some additional um, security, uh, it would have some additional bits of steel and so forth in there that would prevent it from, um, make it harder to bypass. And just to show you this key with a slightly doctored lock, because this is only a five pin key, a six pin cylinder, but um, that actually turns this lock. Now, uh, my challenge to you, uh, my friends, I've not been able to pick one of these things. Um, they are extremely fiddly. Um, in order to pick it, you have to, there we go, you have to simultaneously obviously pick the pin tumblers, which have spools so it wants to fall set and all kinds of fun stuff and set all of these little levers, right? You have to apply a good bit of, t of uh, torque in order to get the levers to set because there's just not a lot of surface to engage on the, uh, on the sidebar, which is right over here. Um, and then that, of course, once you have some of those set, you go picking the top pins, these guys drop, you go set those, the top pins drop back and forth, back and forth. I've not had the skill or patience yet to pick one. I have picked just the levers, taking all the pins, all the top, all the uh, pin tumblers out. Um, but I've not been able to pick it fully uh, with its, in its full security mode. So um, I'm a decent lock picker, but I'm sure some of you out there could uh, get past this. So if anyone wants to give it a go, I've got, I don't know, half a dozen of them. Um, and I'd certainly been willing to lend one out or trade for some other kind of fun lock to uh, torment myself with um, on uh, uklocksport.co.uk, uh, one of my, uh, some of my favorite lock pickers on there. Um, so anyhow, that's the Yale 5000 series uh, and a challenge to uh, the pick wizards and uh, others of the world who uh, 
probably can defeat this thing. Um, for those of you in Britain, um, the according to the book um, High Security Mechanical Locks and Encyclopedic Reference, which I recommend, um, this particular lock is also, the same pattern is also used by a company called Bannum in the UK, though I have not been able to find any locks made by them that have this feature. Um, but, um, so you might be able to find one locally that, uh, or possibly blanks locally that would, uh, would work in this guy. So anyhow, um, I posted a uh, PDF with, uh, from the Yale catalog um, it shows some better diagrams of how this thing works and part numbers and so forth. So maybe those of you that are locksmiths can get your hands on a few of them. And um, I hope this was fun and educational and maybe one day we'll have a video of me picking it. Uh, that would be kind of cool. So thanks for watching and uh, please uh, you know, give me a plus one on the video if you thought it was fun. And, uh, and thanks to everybody for all the great content that's out there. Um, having This is about take 10 on this video. So, um, yeah, the, the skill uh, in, involved in, in doing this by yourself is, is um, uh, I had underestimated it. So I have a lot of respect for you folks, um, in addition to your amazing picking abilities. So thanks so much, and um, hopefully uh, there will be more videos coming up soon. Cheers.